I've done a couple of uh, videos on expected utility and risk preferences and if you haven't seen those I'll post the link below. Here I want to focus on expected utility and insurance. And so the question is how much insurance should someone purchase? So let's consider the following example. If a college football player is trying to decide whether to return for his senior year. He enjoys college, college is fun, he wants to finish his degree, but there are financial ramifications of playing and being injured. So if he remains healthy, he's projected to be an early pick and he's going to sign a contract for $9 million. If he has a catastrophic injury, he's going to earn nothing. And we don't have to make it nothing, we could just have him earning a smaller amount and being a lower pick, but let's just make it simple and have him earning nothing if he has this catastrophic injury. Um, so let's assume he has the following utility function. His utility equals the square root of W, where W is his level of wealth. So let's assume that the probability of staying healthy is 80%, we'll call that PH. His expected utility would be just the average of the utility he gets from being, if he's healthy and if he has the catastrophic injury. So that would be pH times the square root of his wealth if he's healthy plus 1 minus pH times the utility he gets from the catastrophic, if the catastrophic injury occurs. So if we work this out, it's 0.8 times the square root of 9 million plus 1 minus 0.8 times the square root of 0. So it turns out to be 2,400 units of something. All right, it doesn't really matter what it is. Sometimes in economics we refer to these as utils, but it doesn't really matter. What's the actuarially fair premium for the insurance? It's the probability of loss times the size of the loss. So 0.2 times 9 million or 1.8 million. So let's take a look at what the expected utility would be if the player purchased full coverage at an actuarially fair price. So if he's healthy, what's his wealth going to be? It's going to be the 9 million minus the um, 1,800,000 that he pays for the insurance premium. So it's going to be 7,200,000. If he's injured, what's his wealth going to be? It's going to be zero, he earns nothing, minus the premium of 1,800,000, plus the 9 million he gets from the insurance company. So it's also 7,200,000. What's the expected utility? Again, we just take the average of the utility that he gets in both of these states of the world. And if you work it out, it's uh, 2,683.3. Remember that if he was not insured, his expected utility was 2,400. So that means this player is risk averse because he gets more utility from a guaranteed 7.2 million than the gamble that has an expected value of 7.2 million. So this is what it looks like graphically, right? Here's his utility function, and we have this 9 million here, or zero. And if we take the expected value, so this line here represents expected values with different probabilities, right? If we're 100% for 9 million, you'd be here. If we're 100% for zero, you'd be here. So here, this is the case where it's 80% um, for the 9 million and 20% for the zero turns out to be 7.2 million. And if you draw up to the utility function, right, the guaranteed amount gives him 2,683.3 units of satisfaction. If he's doing the gamble, he only gets 2,400, right? So that's what it means to be risk averse. He prefers the sure thing to the gamble. So if we look here, we can see if we draw across from this 7.2 million over to where we get 2,400 units of utility, 
and we draw across to the actual utility function, we get something referred to as the certainty equivalent. All right. Uh, so we want to figure out what's the most that this player would be willing to pay for insurance. Okay, in order to cover this nine million dollar loss. So the maximum he would be willing to pay would be uh, the nine million minus this W star. We have to figure out what that W star is. So his utility equals the square root of W star. Now we know how much utility he gets at that level. Let me scroll back here, right? At this level, he's getting 2,400 units of utility. So here we have 2,400 equals the square root of W star. So let's square both sides and solve for, um, we would be solving for W star and we get 5.76 million. So if we take the 9 million and subtract 5.76 million, we get the amount or the maximum he would be willing to pay to cover himself, $3.24 million. So, you know, by working through this, we can figure out how much this person, given this utility function and, you know, the possibility of loss, how much he would be willing to pay for insurance.